Hello again, this is my second video of today. I am building on the video that I recorded a couple hours ago uh, that talks about using Outlook to check your corporate Google Mail accounts. And all of the teachers should have Outlook 2013 installed on their teaching machines. If you don't, uh, I'd be surprised, but if you don't, uh, let me know and I have extra licenses. I can install Outlook on a number of machines. Um, so if you don't have Outlook installed, that would be something I would like to know about. Um, oh, the colors are really funky there. All right, so we'll delete that garbage. So in a previous email, and this is Outlook, if you're unfamiliar with the program. In the previous video that I recorded earlier today, I instructed users on how to create uh, multiple accounts in Outlook. So this is my campus mail Outlook. Uh, you can see I have folders like uh, school tech, teaching stuff, uh, Google Apps, I have different folders that I've set up and I've been approached by a number of teachers who've said uh, if I if we change from the corporate email server to Google Mail how am I going to get all of those old emails uh, in the new system so the perfect way to do this is to use Outlook and you'll see here um, According to the YouTube video that I recorded earlier today, um, I now have two accounts. I have my campus email server account, and this is my Gmail. And uh, if you follow the instructions in that other YouTube video, you can create these two accounts. This is going to be the first step in saving your emails to Google Mail. Because the first thing that we're going to need to do is to use Outlook as the tool for the transfer. Uh, the cool thing is, the first time you sign into Outlook, if you've never used Outlook before, uh, it will ask you some questions that you answer yes to or click next. And then uh, it will automatically set up your campus email account. And so... Uh, if you've never used Outlook before, try launching it on your teacher computer. And then um, if you have any problems setting up this first campus email account in Outlook, let me know and I can help. Um, but then uh, following the directions in the YouTube video I created, uh, quite honestly, I think it's still uploading. Yeah, there it is. 60% uploaded to YouTube. So the first video I created is still uploading. But you can use the instructions in that email to create your Gmail account in Outlook. And so we're in Outlook. Here's my campus. Here's my Gmail. And for, for the most part, you're going to have the same emails moving forward in both accounts. But historically speaking, you might have hundreds or maybe even thousands of emails in your campus account that you want to transfer over to the new Google system. It's easy to do, uh, and this video is going to show you how. Um, what you need to do is once you have these two accounts set up, you're going to you're going to right click on the folders that you want to save, uh, even if that's inbox. I wouldn't suggest copying inbox unless you're sure that there are emails in this inbox that aren't in your Gmail inbox. Um, even if there are, uh, you could always transfer those inbox emails to. A new folder create a new folder here go something like this um, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say I want a new folder but I don't want it in deleted items that's foolish 
I want a new folder under inbox and I'm going to call it to transfer. And then maybe I want to say, hey, I want to make sure this gets transferred over. And so I move it to the to transfer folder. So if you have an inbox that has a lot of emails in it that you want to make sure get into the Gmail system, you could do that. Otherwise, people who are organized keep them in subfolders like school tech, teaching stuff. And those subfolders, I want to make sure they get into the new system. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take one of those folders and I'm going to right click on it. So right click on school tech and you see this context menu pops up. I go copy folder. Now Outlook is going to ask where you want to copy the folder to. And where you want it to go is in your Gmail setup. So I could click here and it will just copy to my Gmail account and it will end up in the same directory structure in Gmail as it is here. Or I could click this arrow and break it out. Um, say I want to copy it somewhere specific as a subfolder of a subfolder. I could pick the folder that I want uh, to have this folder copied into. Um, if I want to keep the directory structure that I've had in the past, I'll just pick the account and click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to create in your Gmail account. You can see it's copying right now. It's going to create in your Gmail account this subfolder. You see I I've got a copy because I already had one. It was here. I don't know if you noticed that earlier in the video, but I have a copy already, and so it's created a copy of a copy. I really don't want that, but I'm just showing you for instructional purposes. And so um, I can do that with this. Let's say I want to copy that folder, and so where do I want to copy it to? I want to copy it to Gmail. And so I click OK, and then you'll notice when you scroll down um, that to transfer is there. And so now you've copied it to that new place. Not very impressive until uh, the cool thing you can do is after Outlook has, a, has had a chance to copy those emails uh, remotely on the Gmail servers, what you'll be able to do eventually is go to your Gmail account and you see right there school tech school tech copy which I deleted in Outlook it hasn't been deleted here yet but that directory structure will be maintained in gmail.com um, which is obviously the remote Google Mail server. So the cool thing is when you're doing this in here, it's eventually going to synchronize all of those changes that you make in the new Google system. And so you can copy all of these folders over to the new Google system by doing this uh, copy to uh, Gmail account. Um, that's the way to save those emails so that moving forward into the new Google system, you don't have to lose any of that stuff. So I hope that answers some of the questions that you might have. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks.